Good morning friends. Welcome back to my channel and into my home. So today I'm going to be showing you my summer morning routine. It's similar to the one that's on the weekly cleaning schedule, but I've added in watering my outdoor flower pots. I hope that y'all had a great week and a great weekend. We celebrated Chase's fifth birthday. I was so happy to see him open his gifts. In fact, he was so excited about each gift that he opened. Like one of his cousins brought him a little toy. It was like a McDonald's toy and it was missing part of the pieces, but um, he really wanted to give it to Chase because it was something that he was bringing from his house to Chase for his birthday. So he gave Chase this little toy that was missing part of the pieces. And Chase was so excited. He just jumped up and says, oh, I love it. He did that with every single one of his toys. I have no idea how this boy got so sweet. So that was the best part of my week. But if you follow me over on Instagram, or if you read the community tab here on YouTube, you may have seen that my original Instagram account got hacked and hijacked. It's very frustrating when this happens because Instagram makes it very difficult to get in contact with them. I've spent hours on my computer, I've done everything suggested, and I've still yet to recover my Instagram account. So I went ahead and I started a new Instagram account and hopefully I'll get the old one back. I've worked really hard on each and every one of those followers and to start all over has been a bit of a punch in the gut. So if you followed me over on Instagram, would you please go and refollow me on this, on the new account, which is momtomoms.getinspired. That's all one word, get inspired. I would so appreciate it. Now I've tried contacting as many of you as I possibly can, but Instagram even makes that difficult to do. Okay, so enough with the depressing talk and let's move on to my morning routine and what it looks like now that it's summer. It is a 100% given that I'm going to have to vacuum this carpet every single morning. So it's one of the things that I just went ahead and put on the list is to go ahead and vacuum this carpet every morning. Now, as you know, I also run a Roomba at night and the Roomba takes very good care of all the carpets. But by morning, this one already has fur all over it because of that big girl in the background there and also my cat. All right, so let's start here in my makeup room and I'm going to show you my new makeup line that I've been using. Now, a couple of months ago, I switched over to the Saint Cream makeup line. I really love having all the makeup in this one compact. Each of those um, discs, they are magnetized to the bottom of that um, compact. Anyways, this is called the 3D makeup line because you have a highlighter, the base color, and a contour. And I put all that on my face in the orders and places where it's supposed to go. And then I take my Kabuki brush and I blend everything in. And because it's cream makeup, it warms up to my skin and it becomes super blendable. I learned about this makeup line on Instagram where I was following a sweet lady named Krista Raymer for something totally unrelated to makeup. She just happened to be a saint makeup artist and she always has great tips on her Instagram about makeup for mature skin. Now I'm going to leave her information here on the screen if you'd like to go watch her Instagram and learn about applying makeup to mature skin. And I'm also going to add her website down in the description box. Now I'm not affiliated with Saint Makeup, nor am I getting compensated. I just really enjoy these products and I wanted to share them with you. I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyebrows and mascara. I did buy Saint Color for my eyebrows, but I need to purchase a better brush than what I have. So I'm going to go ahead and use this pencil to fill in and darken my brows. 
I have found that if I don't lay my clothes out the night before, then I will most likely stay in loungewear most of the day. And if I don't put my makeup on fairly soon after I wake up, then it won't get done. I am an Enneagram 2, and my personality type oftentimes forgets to take care of themselves. So there's no better way for me to get things done than to have it down on my morning list. Have you taken the Enneagram test? If so, let me know down in the comments which type you are. I find it all so interesting. This is my new mascara that I bought the other day. It's Revlon's So Fierce. I didn't get a good shot of it, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert a video right here so that you can see what it is. Now, when I'm looking for a mascara, I'm looking for a certain type of wand. I like this wand because it's bendable and it comes with a smaller point at the end. That way it, I can get those more delicate bottom lashes. You know what I mean? And tell me, do you get excited like I do to open a brand new mascara and put it on? I just love opening the mascara and trying out the new wand. It just feels so fresh and so clean. It's not clumped up. Everything is just all nice and clean. Now we should be changing out our wands or actually the whole um, mascara every three months or so. Um, and I definitely do do that, but I also do it because I just really love opening new mascaras. With Saints, you can also use your cheek color as your lip color, but today I'm just using a new lipstick I got. Now, after I put on my makeup, I like to use this time to clean my glasses. Now, I get very overheated during the day, we all know that. So my glasses get kind of dirty during the day, so I like to go ahead and use this time just to get everything cleaned up and then I clean off my desk, I get all my makeup put away, and then I'll go in there and get dressed. So included in my night routine is laying out my clothes for the next day. I like to lay them right here on the side of my tub. Now I'm gonna quickly reset the master bedroom and I'm gonna start here by making my bed. Now you may notice that I'm using a new angle here in the bedroom. And the reason is, is that we were finally able to put my husband's stationary bike into his office. So now I have this whole corner free to set up my tripod. Now eventually I would like to put some plants or maybe a chair here, but for now I'm really loving this extra space in the corner. Okay, so now I'm heading into the master bathroom and I'm gonna give it a quick tidy and a reset. Now I do this every morning to keep this area tidy in between the deep cleaning that I do. The best way to enjoy all the hard work of your deep cleaning is by maintaining it daily. Now this is the way that I think of it. In my part of Texas to have somebody come into my home and clean it, it would cost about $200. If I paid that much money to have someone come in and clean my home, you bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna stay on top of keeping those areas maintained. And in order to do that, I'm gonna to have to set up routines to tidy up everything. So why is it any different when we spend all this time and effort cleaning our homes? Why do we feel that it's okay to disrespect our time that we've put into doing this by allowing these areas to go in disarray in just a few short days? So when I set up my routines, I keep this in mind. I want to keep these areas tidy in between the cleaning ladies next visit.
What I'm using here is the recipe that I made for the one minute manicure. Um, I did make that in a past video, so I'll link this video right here at the end of this video so that way you can go there and you can see the ingredients to make this scrub. I do this every couple of days. It only takes a few minutes, like they say one minute, and it really just um, exfoliates the skin. I also like to rub the oil into my cuticles and up on my arms. It leaves a nice oil on the skin that I can just rub into my arms. Okay, so we're now back into the kitchen and I'm gonna start my morning routine in here, but first I need to refill my supplement containers with the supplements that I take daily. So here's a tip to help you remember how many supplements that you need to take. You can go ahead and write it with a Sharpie right on top of the bottle. Now I just fill my containers and I'm good to go for the week. This is my Omega-3 that I've only got one left, but I do have it on reorder, so it should be here shortly. I just recently started using this Allison Max. It tells me that I can take up to 10 tablets throughout the day. Now I'm going to be starting out with four tablets a day, and then I'll be working my way up. But I just leave it in the blister pack, and I keep them out to remind me to take them throughout the day. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and empty last night's dinner dishes from the dishwasher. This will free up the dishwasher to load the dirty dishes in throughout the day. Now, if you have a larger family like I once did, I had to empty my dishwasher twice a day. So I would wake up in the morning and I would empty the dinner dishes from the night before. Then I would refill the dishwasher with the morning and the lunch dishes and I would give those a wash at lunchtime. Then in the evening before dinner, I would empty the dishwasher and prepare it for all the dinner dishes, pots, and pans.
I noticed that my granite has some water spots on it. I'm trying to see if I can, yeah, you can see it right there. See the streaks? I'm gonna go ahead and use my granite cleaner and clean that up. This is what I'll be using. It's the Methods Daily Cleaner. Let's see if I can get it to focus, there we go. I love the smell of this stuff. shined it up. Let me get behind here and move this. Oh yeah, that looks much better. See that? Totally shiny. Okay, let's do over here. Just to even everything out. Okay, so now we're going to head out to the backyard because I need to water all my flowers. So if you remember, I had all this planted not too long ago. I also had the rock put in. Now if you look down there, three of my bushes are dying. This one's not looking great, but it's not dying yet. Let's see. Yeah, it's still looking okay. But these three are dying. We rerouted the water sprinklers to try to help, but so far it hasn't helped. It's been about three weeks and they're still not looking good. I also have this hanging plant that I need to repot. Typically, whatever flowers I pot um, in the spring, I have to come back and redo it in the summer. Things are just so hot here, it's hard for things to um, stay alive. So eventually I'll have to come back out and repot all my hanging baskets. This one's doing better. I Obviously it can do a lot better, but this one's doing better than it was. I used to have it over here under the awning and when I put it over here, it looks like this. So obviously it doesn't enjoy all the sun that it gets out here by the pool. So anyways, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and water everything.
husband thinks that we may be overwatering them and that might be true. Now we have clay soil here and that really holds on to the water. But when I see them all dried out like this, my mama heart says that they need to be fed. So I can't help but spray them every time I come out here to water. Good morning, little birdies. <laughs> I love coming out and seeing the little birds, but I really don't like the mess that they leave in my courtyard. As my channel is growing, my analytics are starting to change. So I want to touch base with you all to get an idea of what is the best day for me to post my weekly video. My analytics are saying that the majority of my subscribers are watching on Mondays and Saturdays. But I want to hear from you before I make any decision to change anything. So please let me know, do you want me to continue uploading on Sundays or does Monday or Saturday work best for you? Just put down in the comment box, say Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. This will really help me out so much.
So I have a little friend that likes to live here in my pot that I keep my hose in. I don't have the heart to take him out of there because he seems to be happy in there. See him in there? But he also gives me a little bit of the heebie-jeebies, <laughs> to be honest with you. Anyways, I'm going to put the hose back in there, but I'm very careful to not hurt him with it. So I want to thank all of you for watching my video all the way through. If you did, would you please leave me an emoji so that way I can thank you personally. And please don't forget to head over to my Instagram and add my new account. I'll link it down in the description box so that way you can easily get to it. And I'll see you again in next Sunday's video. Until then, stay blessed my friends.